Ghana, and of course, the uh, police will have to clamp down some of these recalcitrant traders who are flouting the government directive. But I have with me here Dr. Nesquak, a member of the Metro Health Committee. And let me find out from him. They allow these traders to come here and trade, to sell their food stuff so that those who are uh, uh, at home will also get something to eat. But Doc, now you are telling them to get out of the street. Why? Yes, uh, good morning to your viewers. Yes, we expected implementation challenges. Uh, we had a loose agreement with the traders that when we allowed them to come back to the market after the dis Well, we'll be joining Evans Income shortly. We have um, a few technical challenges. What we, we've, we're learning is that some traders are flouting the social distancing directive that was instituted by the Ghana Health Service. I think Evans is ready now. It's you known to the public that if you come to Dr. Mensah, the way the, 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 the traders are, are actually operating is quite problematic because Keeping distance was quite of a, a difficulty for them. And I'm not surprised to see the Metro Health Committee come here to clamp on them. But there is another development uh, from Asafo, which is a suburb of Kumase. And it has to do with a suspected case of uh, this uh, a, a Ghanaian returning from Italy. We are, we are told this particular uh, couple did not go through the health measures. Now, they are not known. I mean, I'm talking about the people there. They are, they are unsure whether they are positive for or they have tested positive for the coronavirus. But now, this is something that we drew your attention to. What have you done about it? Yes, immediately it happened. We informed the police command and then the Metro Hub uh, Directorate. And then what we need to do a little more investigation because it was reported by people who live around there and actually a unit committee member. Uh, our understanding is that they may have slipped through the, you know, the quarantine and testing. Uh, we need to investigate whether they, they came in before the president gave the directive or that they managed to slip through. We need to investigate that. In order not to infringe on their human rights, we need to involve the security agencies. And then the uh, frontline health workers will see if there's any merit to it then we'll have to you know, counsel them and probably take their sample. We understand that they may have come from Italy, may have slipped through, were in Accra, and when the partial lockdown was announced, they may have come to Kumasi, where they actually live, and they have slipped into their houses and hiding. But we need to investigate. You can't just you know, act upon this. Right? But at least the police will be involved. Then the frontline helps are who take the samples will be involved. And when we do the investigation, then we'll probably make a decision whether to, you know, test them and isolate them and so on and so forth. We can't just jump at it. But uh, I assure you that action will be taken as soon as possible. There will be no delay. All right. So, um, AJ, um, that is the situation here from the Ashanti I don't know if there's anything that you want to know. Evans, or we'll be joining we'll be joining you in our subsequent bulletins.